this video is not going to be like my regular video i'm making this video to let all my fans know i've been offline for some time now it's going to be a long video so please try to watch till the end before we start i'd like you to tell me where you're watching me from indicate that i want to know where my fans are based let me know in the comment section i don't even know where most of you started watching me or what made you to start following me let me know did somebody tell you about me or you saw my video somewhere like ah who is this guy then you searched me up and started following me I don't even know what video you watch that said no this guy is good i need to start following him maybe he started following me yesterday maybe two weeks ago maybe last month last year i don't i just want to say that i appreciate every one of you and i want to let you all know what i've been offline for some time now being a content creator has been an adventure for me i mean i started with advertising my books on social media how many of you remember those videos where i used to advertise my books my little big errors in english where i'll tell people that oh you don't say my dad is an army an army is a group of soldiers that's a collective now you simply say my dad is a soldier or my dad is an army officer common errors in english language you don't say i'm looking for job bro. it is wrong you simply say i'm searching for job or i'm seeking employment a lot of you say please wait you are blocking me what do you mean by wait and what do you mean by you are blocking me you simply say please excuse me you're obstructing my view how many of you remember those videos i want to say thanks to everyone who bought my book at those at that time god bless you because you saw me through school and I, I survived on those books i didn't even stop there i mean i went on to start making motivational videos inspirational videos how many of you remember when i say most of you are going to regret most in life you, are going you know to regret and this um, life those videos actually those went far that. some of you um talked about it over and over again you told me how those videos have blessed your life and um as at the time that i was rounding up my school in Elisa Day University that was 2021 September I had 200,000 followers I knew I was going to go um, fully into content creation so I started full-time content creation in March 2022 I remember I interviewed Emmanuel Ude the guy that went to Nigeria got talent audition and field I remember I interviewed um, this other girl that was pregnant at the age of that was poisoned at the age of eight. I interviewed the tanker driver that was driving a burning tanker, and um, you know, it's been an adventure actually, and it's very interesting one. I took it upon myself that I was going to travel the length and breadth of Nigeria to look for underrepresented people people who are doing impressive things and tell their story to the world and not just tell their story i was going to support them give them something to start life with and sincerely god really saw me through i traveled to in two states of nigeria i raised money for a lot of people bunch of women there are many people almost, there was literally nobody that went on my platform that did not have something to benefit from some of them got followers some of them got exposure some of them got money and a lot of other things but sincerely my own life was moving backward now before i want to tell you most of you saw the video where i broke down in tears and i would like to let you all know why you had to see that video in fact the main thing was that the main thing that really it was frustration that made me to you know for me made me to break down in tears because life was really frustrating for me and um my salary was held down for a very long time i had plans that i was going to travel to abuja i was going to relocate from delta state to abuja so my salary was paid february on came march on came in april i knew that i was going to travel so that this company had a deal with i even told them that um i was coming to abuja that she helped me to look for a place you know i was thinking that when my salary come i'll be able to pay but my salary did not come april as at the time that i wanted to leave it didn't come and um i felt that oh maybe there's a problem somewhere i think there were about five of us that then the next month i knew that i was gonna my salary was gonna come i thought i was gonna travel five people from five people it was just only me that was left and the worst thing is that my rent was expiring in june okay in june and my landlord had already called me i told him i was relocating to abuja that had got a, gotten a job there so i was very confident that when my salary comes i should be able to move to abuja unfortunately april went my salary didn't come may went my salary did not come first week of june i called my landlord and i begged him my sister 
um i'm having a delay please can you just give me a chance to just pay for one more month till july maybe by then my salary will come i didn't tell me anything about my salary being held down anyway i just told you say no that somebody else have paid for the apartment i have to leave by june at that point i was like god what do i do and i'm planning to move to abuja so i can't just in delta state start looking for a new apartment to take me time and apart from that i'm already planning to leave so why do i have to pay for an apartment in delta state again and this is my salary that is held down they could pay it anytime so i called my friend i told them about it they said okay i should bring my properties to their place i took some of my properties there why the rest i had to start selling them off you know and um sincerely it was as if the devil tricked me like i lost my two bedroom flats i lost my properties lost literally everything that i had then i decided i was going to start touring the states of nigeria and i started left the house with fifty thousand. i went to anambra stay from anambra i went to Owewe. i told the story of this zookeeper that is 11 years old i was telling the stories of people all these people were actually things were working out for them that zookeeper guy he got a scholarship i think from indomie awarded him with one million era he got a scholarship so many good things happened to them it's not just him it's a lot of other people what a bunch of women what of every other p- person out there things are actually making going well for people but me i was really suffering most times i will never have money for food i will never have money for transport for my tour i'll be stranded in the park i'll sleep in the bus and i have to call my friend please if you guide me to sell my fan in the second room my television in the second room sell a uh, fridge sell a uh, generator a lot of other things so that was how the devil tricked me i lost everything then after that one happened, the next phase I started experiencing all my my filming equipment. My laptop started having issues. It, it would take me two days to edit one video, and uh, I used to edit three times. You know, one for YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and TikTok. Instagram and TikTok is the same aspect ratio, so I just edit for one and post on the two platforms the same. So it took me. It was taking me time. You know, all my equipment were just breaking, spoiling, and it was becoming depressing for me. That was not just it. The company I had a deal with just messaged me and told me. That my quality was low i mean how is my quality low i mean i know the kind of quality i used to film my this thing and then i just feel that this was temptation i needed to refund their money about one million era and you know while all this bad news was, was coming one by one i was still you people didn't know i was still traveling around you say ah lucky i've reached by us out oh boss i love to see you. please come and tell my story oh, oh come on you know nobody really knew what i was going through i was going through hell i had taken loan from access bank from branch from carbon from fair money from l credit from a uh, 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 palm credit from every single platform out there that gives loan at some point nobody was interested to give me loan but guess god still saw all these things and helped me sometimes a fan would just come and say look i love what you do please send your account they'll send me twenty thousand sometimes fifty thousand sometimes even one five there are people who even send me 150 naira one guest sent me 300 naira to support what i do i appreciate every one of you actually these all these things kept me going like i said life is an adventure and traveling around states of nigeria really gave me an insight to human behaviors I, I i discovered a lot of things about people and um, i learned so many lessons anyway so it was really frustrating for me actually traveling around selling my properties at some point there was nothing else to sell and god started people contact me i said lucky i want to advertise my business and that was how i was able to advertise people business and also fuel my whole tour. i did not even make my first youtube money until january um 2023 that was when i got my first youtube pay and um on facebook that's what they call stars people send stars it was only november 2022 that I was able to even get paid for stars people that were sending stars and everything so i went through hell when you know what it is to build a platform from scratch to 1 million followers and yet you are not making even one kobo from it that was my story actually regardless of all these things i kept on if you look at the videos where i was interviewing people and look at me right now you see the difference i was really stressed i was frustrated i was unhappy so one morning i woke up this was still in august this was in july i'll be august after i've lost my everything you know, I woke up one morning with a Facebook connected entity violation. Hey, wow, what am I going to do? This violation now is I have to start a different platform again from scratch. Do you know what it is to get 50 followers, 100, 1000, move to 5000 followers, 10,000 followers? Jesus Christ, what is this? So I decided that ha, huh, I was frustrated, I was seriously depressed. I was like, God, what kind of life is this? 
like i I don't know like i I don't have many things in my life my father gone mother gone i'm only child no grandparents nothing you know uh, even the school that i I was going to i I left school and i had to come start a content creation full time i've not even paid my school fees finished you know and my house lost properties gone equipment spoils the platform that i've been building all my life i knew i could make a media company out of content creation and now this whole thing has been taken away from me what does the devil want from me i mean what does god want from me no it's not every time you have to blame the devil right because when something good happens people say oh we give god all the glory why can't i also share part of my problems with him so yeah what does god really want from me it took my mother no problem it took my father no problem I went through hell in my life. Why do I have to still go through all of those? What do I do? What did I actually do to deserve all this? I mean, there are people who just come online and, 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 and do all kinds of nonsense on social media, you know, and, and this kind of people get some support, in mass, massive support that will never in any way come back to society. I was really frustrated, but I needed to let you all know that there was something wrong with my platform. I needed to start from scratch. So I had to make that video and I got emotional along the way and I then told you people that this was what I was going through, that some of you didn't know about. And um, that was why most of you saw that video. If my salary was paid, none of you would have ever seen that video. And even after I made that video, my issue got resolved. The issue got resolved. I later discovered it was a mistake from Facebook. And then I still kept on traveling around making videos, the longest traffic in Nigeria, um, the flood in, uh, uh, um, what's the name? Kogi State, went to Enugu State, made a video about the community with blind people. There was a company that even paid me 800,000 for adverts. And I spent all the money there. And I was very, very charitable. I was just being, I would I say foolish. I was even thinking of myself sometimes. So, um, I'm very sorry, I got a call. Hello? You are disturbing my video. Do you know I'm recording and you're calling me? How are you? To me, that was foolishness. Spending all my money for people that does not even have appreciation or gratitude. You know? Now, when I talk about appreciation or gratitude, there's, there's, there's this guy that the appreciation he has is just, I don't know. How many of you remember the video of this Abino guy? His dad called me and thanked me. His mom called me and thanked me. His uncle called me and thanked me. And this guy didn't even raise money for him. All I just did was put his... Just... I got him more followers and exposure. And they were being very grateful. But there are people you tell their story, you raise millions for them. What about a bunch of women? That woman got about 6 million era. But was she, un- but, but was she grateful? She was never grateful. She even was asking me that... She's not a child. I can't just be asking her any question because I asked her, Ma, I hope people are supporting. So, why would I be asking her that question? Imagine somebody I left Delta State, I traveled, I slept in the park for. It wasn't just her. What about this girl in Edo State? I took a flight from Abuja. That time, flight was 80,000. When I got there, a hotel of about 25,000, I took private cab that would take me from um, Benin City to her village, 30,000 naira going and coming, it was 30,000. After interviewing her, she said that sincerely, she doesn't even have Kubo. The girl that used to be a fraudster that is now a pastor, that's the person I'm talking about. I gave her 15,000, I told her I didn't have too much anyway. That she's not where the next day I'll post her video, I'll put her phone number, and account details, just what I've been doing for others. And people will support her, okay? And for the ministry God has called her for, that she will not lack to be able to achieve the goal. I was just being innocent. It's not even about innocent. Like, I was just putting everything I had on the line for people that will never appreciate it. I came back there, took a flight back to... I didn't even sleep that night. I edited a video. And like I said, I did for three different platforms. And I didn't sleep that night. I edited her video. I flew back to Abuja, posted it. And all of you started watching. I believe a lot of you called and supported her. But she never even said thank you. She didn't appreciate nothing at all. She just, you know, and and, and, and I told her I'm going to create a page for you. I created a page for her. See, a lot of content creators will page, create a page for you and they'll manage it for you. All the people I create page for, from Emmanuel Day, I got them thousands of followers. They are the ones managing it themselves. They are the ones enjoying everything themselves. You know, this lady got 20,000 followers. 
she also got donations she never even she never truly appreciated me for all that giving her followers giving her a good start and money and every other thing and i think she now called me like two months ago Tun dead not follows me on instagram he saw the video and reposted it and the girl called me that eh, hey, somebody just told that Tunded not posted the video that and uh, it is Tunded not does not do it the way i do it i didn't tag her i didn't say anything about her then when she realized that she had made a mistake she now said hey, sir and um, i want to say thank you for post i was like god these are people i put my life on the line for people that don't struggle for you didn't do anything it's my own sweat the equipment is my own sweat the transport's my own sweat everything uh, you know and they, they don't appreciate it most of these people don't even use the money for the intended purpose if you want to look at the people in benway this woman i cried in that video while i was filming i cried when i was editing i cried even after posting i cried this morning i was watching it with my some people in the parlor I, I i was just reflecting on some of the videos i've done i cried too because it's a very pitiful situation seeing somebody live in a place like this when i put that story out there some of you actually contacted and supported her with your hard and money and i told you suman look for a apartment pay for two years set up good businesses even maybe two businesses send your children to school pay their school fees i heard this woman did not listen to me she went down to buy a land and started building two bedroom flats with boho at some point the money got finished and this house just stopped her length as, it, as i'm talking to you she's still in that very place what about that guy that had an accident his arm is cut his leg is cut i interviewed him in october he said he wanted to set up a shop if you watch that video you talk about you hear where he talked about setting up a shop do you think there's something else you can do to give yourself money of course i can uh, go into business what kind of business do you have in mind i have a uh, make uh, electrical material that's what i have in mind today's match has not set up that shop these people the most of them don't use it for the intended purpose the worst of it all is that majority of them are ungrateful ungrateful some of them the only time they'll comment on my video is the day i posted their story and maybe the next story i'll post after then they have gone but nothing concerns them i don't have issues with that i mean every we live in a selfish generation everybody's concerned about what to better their life you know and um you know that is it so I, I, this will not discourage me from going out there to the, most people we are all imperfect humans sometimes we don't really realize that we are making a mistake until somebody draws it to our attention so these were some of the things that i realized during the course of my traveling and i decided that i was going some people were there, I, me being frustrated me being broke all the time constantly talking about it you see some children that are still in their mother's house some people that they are living abroad today is not by their own making so somebody that was thinking about them that give them now an opportunity to leave the country if not if they were in nigeria most of them will be jobless some of them will be unemployable some of them will be frustrated i'm telling you but these people just sit wherever they are and be thinking that they can talk to you anyhow do you think it's easy to to come from nowhere from no, you are nobody and you are trying to become somebody trying to build something from scratch getting every kind of equipment that will need to improve your quality do you, do you, do you know how hard it is to build a career some of you don't know these things so when you see somebody who's been sincere some of you just say a lot of things so i was also faced with seeing all these things in the comment sections sometimes it makes me feel bad sometimes it give me a perspective of who i truly am and how people truly see me all these things shaped me somehow and it was not just that like i said i've been traveling alone the states of nigeria filming alone look for stories alone directing alone editing alone everything alone my health was at stake and i didn't know it was when i left enugu that i was seriously sick i had to go to the hospital they say my typhoid was 400 very high and i was sick for from november to february 2023 i was taking different drugs different injection nothing was working even in the sickness i still traveled to ghana my experience in ghana was actually a very bad one if you notice i deleted the post there i wasted my money to go to ghana i wasted my money and my friend that one of my friend mr shegun who supported me to go to ghana also it, it was a waste and in fact i don't even want to talk about what happened in ghana anyway but to me it was it, it was disrespectful that i had to come back and i don't want to talk about what happened but then i'll say this is just the experience of life 
some of us really need to go through these things so we understand you know certain things about life i came back depressed anyway i don't want to talk about it because it's unnecessary i put that behind me god has really seen a lot of things and he has you know i don't want to say too much so even with all these things i see travels or you know just being innocent i'm making myself available does he are lucky come here and see this one i'll travel there most times i'll even enter night nice bus travel from abuja to lagos go to prison looking for people or you know just doing a lot of charity not everything you see on social it's not everything i post i'm not too engrossed to social media so it's not everything i post like every activity some of you don't except some of you that are really in real life you know what's going on behind the scenes so i was making myself available at some point most of you have seen me as a public servant somebody that was just helping everybody nobody really saw me as somebody who had my own ambitions i needed to chase and me being very very frustrated always broke always talking about things at some point even the people that were supporting me got tired of listening to me I knew that at that point I needed to change my modus operandi and you know, I needed to change the way I operate, the way I do things. Some people were suggesting, you can't be raising millions of mira for people and then you are broke. Uh, you know, at least you are working, you need to take from me. But then, as at the moment of making this video, I am not that kind of person. I can't do that. Some other people in their life will never come across any opportunity like this. So why do I have to? Me, I believe, I firmly believe that my future is incredibly bright. Look at Joshua Selma. He's so great today. Tama is a billionaire. He was not a billionaire at the age of 25. I'm 25. He was not. Most of the great people were not. Some of you laughing at me. I swear to God in my life. You, I, I don't want to say, I don't want to sound proud, but some of you can just, the only, the highest you can do is comment. You are just ignorant of your own future because i see those comments you laugh at me you insult me you don't even know what life holds for you what life holds in store for you right now you think oh i have a family i have a job i'm living abroad you think you figure things out you think that um you, you are in control of your own world i lost my both parents lost my house lost my property my salary was held down for one year my page that I suffered to build to 700,000 followers, I was about to be eliminated. My equipment got spoiled. Companies had to refund their money. You think all these things was a result of my own making? These are challenges of life. But yet, I thank God that I survived. I'm more worried about some of you who think that you'll never have to face things like this. I just feel for you so much because you don't understand. So when you see people going through challenges, laugh at them. You really don't even know what the future holds for you. As you, you sleep tonight and wake up, you don't know what you are going to face tomorrow. So don't laugh at people you don't understand where God is taking them to. It is very wrong. That's my advice for some of you. So regardless of all this pain and experience, I kept pushing forward. But at some point, I began to ask myself a question. Lucky, you can't continue this way. You can't. Forget about even the people who are some people who are genuinely supporting you, advising you. They don't understand where you want to be or where you deserve to be. You have to take, you have to take charge and make a decision. And number two, you are not even feeling fine. I knew that, see, I'm done with social media for now. I need to take care of my own self. I mean, my relationship with God was not the way it used to be. Like, I wasn't even really going to church. You know, I'm a young person. I didn't, I wasn't even making new friends. I was not in a relationship. My, my, my status was just there. I was not, I didn't have a business. I was doing apart from making videos. And so many things were just so wrong with my life that I said, no, this is, this ought not to be so. So during the course of taking care of my health, I needed to take out some time to think about what I was going to do. I then posted, most of you saw the post, if you like to learn content creation, inbox me. A lot of you inboxed me and then I said, oh, people are really interested to learn how I edit my videos, make my videos, get my stories, the background sound, the editing, the kind of equipment I use. I said, you know what, I'm going to set up an online academy. The name now is called Lucky Udu Academy sorry you can go search it on google or Kudo academy and you see it so what i'm doing is i'm creating courses for those of you who like to know how to go viral some of you you are tagging different people on your page thinking that that's where you blow you will not blow that way some of you are doing outside of you are just ignorant if you know some of you don't even know that there's a specific time you are supposed to post that's when the, the people on your platform are most active but you don't know this thing so i want to give you all the secrets i want to be able to teach you also having working behind the scenes building all these things and um during the course of it the salary that i complained about that made some of you to to see my tears 
God finally released it. My one year salary was finally paid, and that was what um, I used to get myself the new car that you are seeing right now. I used to get myself some of the equipment that you are seeing. And I told myself that even if the salary had been paid, I'm not just going back to social media, the same guy that I used to be. I now wanted to create something that is going to sponsor all my activities. I don't want to depend on anybody, I don't want to ever write it anywhere because nobody understands. No, you see, when I was in classroom in university, people would just be judging because all of you are in the same class. But you no, know, you know, like it's not like we are going the same destination in life. So it's easy for some people to think because you see, respect people in life because you don't know where God wants to take them to. And even me that I seen this thing, I also have to be very humble because I really don't know if this is the highest de- destination God wants to bring me to. But I know that god has great plans for me i know that very very well and this will never be my final destination so i like i say just because my salary has been paid and on that thing i didn't even say my youtube was 3,000 subscribers in december in all of the frustration giving up and everything my subscribers went from 3,000. all of these people started watching my videos on youtube for no real good reason i don't know how that one happened how did in fact it is just so mysterious it went from 3,000 to 4,000 to 5,000. As of the 31st of December, my YouTube subscribers was 10,000. From there, 20,000 to 25,000. As of 19, 26,000 subscribers. And um, I got my first YouTube pay in January 2023. Do you think it's easy building a platform with 1 million followers, traveling everywhere, crazy content, and you're not making anything? It was really frustrating for me. So, but then. Like I said, um, all this was part of, it's, it's a journey of life. Someday I'll tell the story and everything. So, um, you know, that was basically why I needed to take off some time on social media. I needed to work on my life. I can't be available for everybody. Everybody wants to talk to me. Everybody wants me to come here and film this, do that, do that. I'm not a public servant. I just am a young person who wants, who is passionate about certain things, okay? And um, I was putting my life on the line. I'll come back home from my tour. There will not be, even be soap to bathe. There won't be food at home. But I've raised millions of naira for people. I'll be taking loans. People are majorly concerned about the people's story that I'm putting. Not too many persons were really, really concerned about me. And I didn't want to continue that way. I needed to set up something that'll be giving me money to f- to sponsor this activity. Somebody wakes up and says, Lucky, I love what you do. I want to support you. Fine. I would really appreciate that, but I didn't want to depend on that. Well, some people are saying, oh, get some percentage from what you do, f- help people. I say, no, that's not my character. I will never do that. Rather, look for something else to do than to do this. So, God saw all these pains and then he helped me. So, my YouTube now is 26,000 subscribers. Then there was this lady that saw my Aku blogs. While I was offline, a video that I posted since August, she brought back that video, posted on her YouTube channel. Then she went to one video where I... I saw those young evangelists. I cried in that video. And then she screenshotted a v- the part where I was crying. Use it as thumbnail for that video. Made people to think that it was a recent thing. The only thing that she did I really like was that she put my YouTube link. Follow Lucky, support his new channel. So God bless you because you added to my subscribers. Through her, I got about 1,500 new subscribers. God bless her so much. But then that video was a video that has passed already. The page, the issue I have with my page has been rectified. Um, right now, I'm very healthy. I'm no longer sick. My typhoid level has gone down. Everything is okay. Uh, my platform is okay now. I've been able to buy some equipment. You can see a new microphones, a new camera. I got a camera about 3.5 million era and um, got new equipment. So hopefully you guys will see all this reflecting in my new videos or do have some videos that are already shot but i've not posted yet i'm going to post it very soon so i want to say thanks to everyone who have been supporting me god bless you all sincerely without you guys it will not be me I, there will not be lucky you do sincerely so thank you all so much i want to say a big thank you to those of you who specifically take your time to write long messages just to send to me to appreciate me for what i do sincerely i don't even know what you what 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 entered i didn't like how 
God bless you all so much. For you to take out your time to really write something very long, just to say thank you to somebody. I mean, God bless you. Thank you for those of you who have supported me with funds, like supporting my platform with money. God bless for those of you bloggers that post my videos. God bless you all so much as well. I really love and appreciate every one of you. So let me talk about Locuda Academy. So while I also wanted to have a platform where I can teach content creation, then I thought, what if other people have certain things they want to teach too? so for those of you who saw the video where i interviewed that guy that teach that plants on water if you want to learn hydrophonics farming how to plant on water the business the course is there right now on the platform so some of you have be- you are successful in your field you are a music director you are a actor you are just any you maybe you, you are into a certain business that is going where you can come and teach that business on the platform and make money from it when people purchase it is 50 50 the academy take 50 you take 50 and then if you are a student you want to make money you can become an affiliate marketer for look you do academy all you have to do is if you can sell a course you get 10 percent and it's very very easy you don't have to stress yourself to even sell any course the interview we had with the hydrophonics farmer has about 1 million views on social media you can just show somebody that video person will say wow i'd love to learn this so tell the person that the course is available on locuda academy so if they come through you you get 10 percent i think the course is 152,000. so one per 10 percent is like 15,000. you can do that five times a day and make up to 100,000. you can make up to 1 million for you housewives for you students people can make so much money from locuda academy just referring people to buy courses for those of you who want to teach you can also make money too because we are going to brand you we are going to make you popular we are going to host you on tv shows we are going to really brand you okay and then people can also learn from you for those of you you want to become great in life but you don't know who will mentor you to success we are looking for successful entrepreneurs successful people that will come and teach their course and mentor you so me i and my team we are willing to travel around the world and look for these kinds of people to come and teach on locuda academy so please support locuda academy we are still setting we are still setting things up the courses will be coming small small anyway um so take out your time from time to time visit it if you have any suggestions for me let me know i'm very open to suggestions suggestions have actually changed my life and really helped me to broaden my horizon and to see opportunities where i didn't even think opportunities existed so i i i am humble enough to learn so please reach out to me via email instagram dm or whatsapp i don't know and please don't get angry if i don't reply your messages i have my life you know my real life i'm not always on my phone except at night and sometimes i'm too tired i will even go there so please bear with me okay i left my whatsapp there because i wanted to connect with you all and i did not leave it so people all think that i'm too accessible and you feel that oh, i'm ignoring you no that's not it so please don't take public access for granted this is not everybody that's gotten to the stage that i've gotten to that wants to leave, give you access to talk to them so don't take it for granted okay and um i want you to just understand what is going on i feel like i owe it to you people to understand i've really come a long way and through these difficulties i have pushed forward i can boldly say that i did not compromise i did not hurt mislead anybody to get to where i am and i know that this is just the beginning of where god wants me to go so thank you all so much i believe that i've said a lot of things i hope you learned some of them and um life can be bad sometimes it also gets better too um so i believe that i've said everything i'm trying to think is there anything that i did not say hey hey i said i was going to set up a foundation the people who people donate money to them they don't use it for the internet purpose so i'm setting up a foundation lock you do foundation i was thinking what if people donate to the foundation and then we give to them directly let me know if that would be okay because i don't want to i don't want to, if, if it's not okay i won't do it I will continue to put the account number and their info there. Okay, then people will donate to them directly. And there is the money to do is their business. But if people want this money to be spent well, then you can donate through Lucky the Fund. I can assure you, we'll be very, very transparent to all our dealings. I don't have any interest with public fund. I I pray that God blesses my academy and I'll also have other businesses too. I'll never, ever, ever in my life look into that direction because I believe I'm a very smart person. My future is very, very bright. I don't have to settle for less because there there's more out there. So 
that is none of my business but i want to set up a foundation so that people can spend if somebody wants to set up a shop somebody needs house issues we set so you know we'll use the foundation we'll not apply what can we do with this money if it's two million donated let us pay the person's house rent for two years set up a business give them something so instead of the some of them their family may trick them and again security wise people see this video their neighbors will see their family will see they'll say oh this person have received donations so they could be targeted so uh, using the foundation to support the people is not a bad idea but i want you to tell me what to do that's why i'm saying all this okay i want you to tell me what to do i don't just want to make decision i feel like we are all in this like is it a democracy should i say that okay so i don't want to just be the one to just make the decision don't take my sincerity for granted okay i'm just being honest with you i could have decided not to say this but i feel that i owe it to you okay i want you to see me as a real person the only thing is that you can't touch me you can't feel me okay but i want you to feel like we are all together like we are family so i'm tired right now because i've said a lot of things and um <sighs> is there any other thing i can say go to youtube subscribe keep watching me there share to your friends talk about lokido academy everywhere you go if you like to be an instructor on the platform go to the website and click apply for instructors and uh, if you like to offer any of the services you want to work you want to join my team let me know as well actors and actresses you can also indicate if you have a story for me you'd like me to cover let me know if you have partnerships some of some tv stations on dstv have contacted me that would like to host my um my videos on dstv on their platform um so at this point i'm ready i'm back i promise i'll never go off social media again because this time around i have been able to do things differently so i don't think i'll ever 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 go offline i needed to take out some time to fix my life and i believe i have done that and maybe this was a test from god i don't know if i passed but i'm sure that i did well i don't know what other people would have done if we in my situation you know so pray god gives us long life and good health and i pray everything works out for every one of you young people chasing your dreams thank you all for watching me god bless you so from tomorrow morning you start seeing my videos i love you all bye